Because I'm a woman, do you think I'm going to crack under pressure or conquer the field? Defy expectations any day. It's a 360 degree difference. Incredible protection. Now enough of that nonsense. Periods may go something like this. Why mother nature? <laughs> oh. Yep, that time of the month every girl dreads with cramps, bloating, moodiness, and cravings. Only just a few of the words. Hello beautiful Nicolettes, welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be talking all about period talk. <sighs> Unfortunately, sometimes period talk is a taboo kind of topic, but let's be honest, us girls have to go through it every single month. Unfortunately, Mother Nature blesses us with la periods. So these are just some hacks and tips and tricks to do during that time of the month to either help with cramping or to just be able to survive through that struggle every single month. I hope you guys get something from this video or find it useful if you are a girl and you get your periods. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's a little bit different, but you know what? My channel, I like to talk about things, and periods are a pretty big thing in our lives. Thumbs up if you did like it, but let's get into it. My first life hacks have to do with cramps and what to do to help prevent cramping as much as you can. So unfortunately, we have to avoid caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant and it will encourage your muscles to contract and cause pain. So I actually have a tea for you guys that will actually help with cramping. So just take green tea, decaf obviously, and then take a little bit of cinnamon. And cinnamon is actually said to ease with cramping. And then I put a little bit of honey, you're gonna stir it all up, and this tea will help ease that pain guys because I know for some people it can be very painful during that time of the month. As well just having warm water is usually better for cramps as hot liquids increase blood flow to the skin and may relax cramp muscles. I know our first instinct when we're on our period is to just curl up in a ball and binge watch Pretty Little Liars, but it's actually said that exercise is amazing for symptoms like cramping and lack of energy. So we may think that we are in so much pain we don't want to do exercise, but if you do some light exercise or even some yoga and stretches, it will help with the pain. So even just going on YouTube and searching up some yoga or searching up a really light workout, this will be very beneficial for you and it will actually help so much for the pain. For this next life hack, you can actually use a heating pad, but if you don't have a heating pad, you can even just put very hot water into a water bottle or into a bottle that's gonna go hot on the outside as well. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply it to your abdominal area, and this will actually help with your blood flowing, and this is gonna relieve your cramps. These next couple of life hacks have to do with bloating. So salt is said to lead to uncomfortable bloating, so make sure you eat less of it. And the next life hack is to drink more water. It is easy to get very dehydrated when losing that much fluid. Chugging water will help ease the most common symptoms such as bloating and fatigue. Resist the urge to purchase sugary drinks as this will make it worse. This next life hack has to do with the cravings that we get during that time of the month. So unfortunately, we have to avoid candy bars as those are packed with caffeine and unnecessary sugar. But guys, you can eat dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has many benefits, some including it boosts your mood, reduces your stress, and helps with cramps. The next life hack has to do with moodiness. So something to do is sleep more, guys. Less sleep makes us cranky and less likely to make healthy choices during the day. Now this life hack has to do with those emergency times. So I'm going to be showing you a DIY emergency pad. So there's two ways you can do. Of course, you can just have the typical toilet paper around your underwear if you don't have anything. But if you have a cloth or something, you can always put the cloth on the inside of your underwear and then wrap it around with toilet paper. Obviously wrap it around also your underwear and this is gonna act as a pad until you guys can get yourself a real one. Next, I just have a couple of random tips for you guys. So leaks, unfortunately, sometimes do happen. So I definitely suggest wearing dark clothes and having a sweater or a flannel so that if worse comes to worse, you can tie it around your waist and you'll be less embarrassed and that will save your life, girls. And waxing, don't do it guys. During that time, everything down there is much more sensitive. And the last random tip I have for you guys has to do with skincare. So to prevent spots and breakouts, take extra special care of your skin the week leading up to your period and this will really help. Especially don't ever forget to take your makeup off.
That is all for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun making it for you guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the Nicolette's Fam Jam because your girl uploads every other day here on my channel. And don't forget to follow me on the other side of the world, aka my social media, my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, always in the description box down below. So check it out if you guys want and stay connected with me. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!